Hello everyone, today we're going back to Rosalind. In our last DNA Toolkit video we wrote two more functions that we can now use to solve two more problems on Rosalind. Okay, so let's just go to the browser right away. We are solving problem from Bioinformatics Stronghold at the moment and the last one we've solved was counting nucleotides. As you can probably remember from the last video we wrote transcribing DNA to RNA. Again, that's a very easy thing to do here. Let's go back to our editor and go back to our DNA toolset and DNA toolkit file. As I've mentioned before, we are going to copy each function to a separate Rosalind file. Just in case, if you are looking for a solution for a particular Rosalind problem, you can just look up the name of the file on GitLab and get the solution instead of having all of the solutions in one file and you have to scroll up and down to find the solution for a particular problem. So I have recreated the structure here. We have two more files. One is transcribing DNA and the other one is reverse complement. So the first one we're going to solve is our transcription. Let me quickly run the test of the sample output. We're going to call the function. Let's go back to the browser now. Quickly copy the sample data set here. And let's try getting the expected output. Okay, save and run. This is what we've got. Let's actually copy the output and go back to the browser and search for it on this page and see if it found it. Yes. So we search for that output we've got and it found because it selected it all in green. So we are ready to request our data set. Let's go ahead and download the file. Okay, I just got a TXT file and again, it is going to be a different sample for everyone. Let's go back to the editor and paste the line I've got. Let me paste it in here. It's quite a long string. Let's run. And that's the output we got from our code. And let's paste the answer right here. Submit. Okay, that looks like we've got yet another achievement. And we've solved this problem. But let's go back and solve the other one as well. So let's move on to complementing DNA strand quickly. Again, we've solved this problem in our last video. I'm going to copy this for now. And let's go back to our editor. Okay, so we're going to save this. And let's actually go back to the default value so you can use that. And let's go to complementing DNA. Okay, so I just pasted this sample string here and let's go back to our DNA toolkit. Copy this function and paste it into here. And as you can see, we actually need this reverse complement dictionary as well from our structures file. So we're going to need to copy this as well and paste it into our file. Again, we're just making sure that this solution has its own file. It's a standalone solution. Now let's cut this string out from here and let's run that string against our code just to make sure that we get the expected result, the one that Rosalind expects us to get. Let's save this and run it. That's the result we've got. Let's go back to the browser. We copied that thing now and let's search for it, okay? Just like with the last time and we can see that we found a matching string. Now we are again ready to download the data set. I just got a file again. Let me see what's in the file. Again, it's a very long string. Let's go back to the editor. And let me paste that string right into here and run it. Okay, here we have the solution. We're going to copy it. We're going back to Rosalind, paste it in and submit it. For this one, we did not get any achievements because you're going to have to solve much more problems in the future to get the achievements. So again, you can always expand and just have a nice read on top of what we learned in the videos and just kind of refresh your understanding of these things. Okay, so let's go to our profile and see the badge we just earned. I think that's this yellow one. Eight problems solved. So this is great. And we have a couple of new problems unlocked for us. So in our next videos, we're going to be solving much more complicated problems. We're going to need to write some algorithms instead of using a built-in Python functionality. So you can see all these orange problems have been unlocked for us. So we can go to solve any of these in any order we want. Okay, let's go back to the code editor quickly. And again, we have two new files here. One is complementing DNA with a solution. Let me roll back 
to the sample data set. You can always pull down latest git commit in the case if you need to look at the code. But these are very easy problems to solve and you should be able to solve them without even watching this video. So this is it again for today. Thank you very much for watching and listening and good luck with Rosalind problems. See you in the next video. Rebel Coder signing out.